This devotion is for Thursday, February the 11th. It's entitled, Be All That You Can Be. Titus chapter 3 For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, despicable, hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of our God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The title of today's devotion is a familiar one to many of us. Be all that you can be was a popular recruiting slogan of the United States Army for the last 20 years of the 20th century. The message's appeal comes from the subtle suggestion that we are very important, that we have hidden potential for greatness. We need not be satisfied with who we are. Within each of us is untapped potential. Certainly there is a positive note in this message. Many people do settle for less than they should in their personal lives. They're content to run with the pack. Reaching out creates too big of a risk. Yet the opposite has a greater potential for danger. The motto, be all that you can be, implies that there's no limit to our aspirations. Fame and fortune is ours if only we grasp hold of it. It's ours for the taking. Today's text also encourages us to be all that we can be. It does so, however, not through the values of this world, but in the light of our redemption. Who we are and the values that we have are determined by our justification in Christ Jesus. All that we can be is determined not by our efforts, but is decided by our Father in heaven who has claimed us through the waters of baptism. Yes, we are heirs, having the hope of eternal life. Through this washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, we certainly become all that we can be.